Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a really fun video for you that we've been waiting all season to make. But uh, you hang around time after the break, we'll show you what it takes to run Tina and I both out of the kitchen. Alright guys, like I was saying, today we're going to get into what it takes to run Tina and I out of the kitchen. Now guys, we've been waiting all year. If you've been following along on the garden updates, you'll know that uh, hidden between all of the other peppers have been some ghost pepper plants. And uh, we've been uh, tending them all season long and uh, kind of babying them along. But now is the time we're going to make them into some hot sauce. So guys, we're going to get out there in the kitchen. We've got some great footage. Um, we're going to add in some other peppers. We've got some cayenne growing out there. we got some jalafuegos. They are a little bit larger and a little bit hotter jalapeno. But uh, guys, we're going to mix these all up and uh, we're going to do some great things with them. So guys, this is our once a year adventure. We spend a little bit and buy some uh, fancy little bottles and some uh, um, got some little funnels and all kinds of crazy stuff we're going to get into. But let's check out this footage. We'll show you guys how we make our hot sauce. And we hope you enjoy it. All right, guys, we're getting ready to start on this four pepper sauce. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is we've collected up some really good looking little cherry tomatoes. We're going to kind of throw those in as the base of the sauce. They'll add a little bit of sweet to the heat. But uh, Tina's got a few here, uh, regular Roman tomatoes for dinner tonight. But uh, we've got some little sweet to add to the heat. We'll get over here. We'll find four different peppers to put in the sauce and we'll get rolling with it. All righty, guys. The next pepper we're after are the ghost peppers here. But uh, some of them have partially dried on the plant, and we're going to allow that. We'll go ahead and use those, but if they show any sign of rot, we're going to go ahead and pitch them. But uh, we've got a bunch of them here to use, so we're going to get these picked off. We'll come right back and show you what we got. All right, guys. Tina has got us quite a collection of uh, ghost peppers. What do you think here, Mama? They're evil. They're evil. Yeah. But we're going to go ahead and add these. We're just going to be all red. It's going to get kind of hard to tell things apart in there when we're done. But we've got several there, better than a dozen, and that's going to be plenty enough for what we're doing. So next pepper up is a pimento pepper. This is a thick-walled red pepper, and uh, they're pretty small. I'm going to get Tina to throw her hand in there behind one or show us one. There you go. They're pretty small, but they're awful thick-walled. They're great for using in this. This will be another way we bring out a little bit of sweet with the heat. But uh, we're going to get in here. We'll grab us a dozen or so of these great-looking little red peppers. And uh, then we'll move on over to the other garden where we've got some other things growing. All right, guys. Let me give you a look down in here. we got those little pimento peppers. Those things look fantastic. we got our little cherry tomatoes. And we got our ghost peppers. But next on the list... We're going to run through these cayenne peppers, and uh, we'll get them off of here, and then we've got one more to go. All right, guys. We've got a nice little collection of cayenne peppers here. Tina's saving them up for us. What do you think, Tay? Yeah. Yep. I All like right. cayenne peppers. You like cayenne peppers? Right. You make buttermilk fried chicken with cayenne peppers. She makes her buttermilk fried chicken with cayenne pepper, too, so... We like having plenty of them around. We're going to use a few. We may uh, let her steal a few and throw them in the dehydrator because we got plenty. But that's a pretty good little picking. We got most of them cleaned off the plant there. Oh, even to... a tiny one. You even got a tiny one? What do you got here? Little yep. bitty tiny one. Yep, little bitty tiny one. Well, they all eat the same. Yep. But all right, guys, we got one more to go and uh, it's hiding right here behind Tina. We have some beautiful red jalapeno peppers. They are ready to come off. We don't want to use the green ones. They'll uh, turn our sauce green and red make brown. So we don't want to mix the two. So we are everything red today. And we're going to go after these red jalapenos. So give us a second. We'll get these picked off. And uh, we'll bring you back and show you what the final is going to be. All right, guys. We got the majority of these red jalapenos off here. We've got some, uh, some of them looking pretty good. We've got a few that got some checking on them. Not a big deal. But uh, we're just going to hit them with the immersion blender and some vinegar and uh, turn them into hot sauce anyway. So they ain't got to be pretty. They just got to be edible. So doing pretty good. Tina's got a few left. I got a few pretty ones. She's got a few pretty ones here. She's going to yeah. decorate the pile with. Make us look like we know what we're doing. 
But, uh, all right, guys, that's all the peppers. We're going to head indoors. It is what? How? What's the temperature out here? About 93. About 93. So we are going to head indoors, and we're going to create a little heat of our own on the inside. All right, guys, we are getting set up here to make this hot sauce. Hey, guys, there is not going to be any recipe. There's going to be some calculating, but there ain't going to be no recipe. We got some, uh, we showed you out in the garden, we got some uh, red jalapenos. We got some red pimentos. We got some red cherry tomatoes. We got some ghost pepper. And we got some cayenne red pepper. So, guys, we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to break this down. We're going to throw it over here in this pot. And we're going to cook it down with some vinegar. But we need to figure out how much vinegar we need. We got a... Uh, we got our woozy bottles here. That's what they're called if you're not familiar with them. But uh, your little sauce bottles are woozy bottles. And uh, they are 5 ounces each. So we have 24 of them. That's 120 some ounces. That's going to work out to about 15 cups of vinegar. So we're going to use 15 cups of vinegar because what we're going to do, we're going to break these down. We're going to boil them with some vinegar. We're going to chew them up with the immersion blender. Heat them up some more, chew them up some more, and then we're going to filter the vinegar back out of it and uh, some small particles, and we're going to fill up these bottles. So, um, But it's mostly going to be vinegar in the bottle, so we'll just calculate the bottle volume for the amount of vinegar we're going to use. That's uh, just shy of 15 cups, so we're probably going to use, I'll say, 17 or 18 cups of vinegar just to make sure we got enough. We can always uh, throw some in another bottle somewhere. But then we're going to put the little shakers on them, we'll put the caps on them, we'll put the little dress tops on them, and we'll shrink wrap them to the bottles. So then we'll throw them back there in their box. But uh, guys, the first step is just going to be to break these peppers down. I'm going to throw on some black neoprene gloves, and uh, we're going to get these cut down. And uh, we'll cut them down pretty small. I'll show you how when we get, when we get a little closer. But uh, I'm going to throw some gloves on, we'll start getting these broke down, and I'll bring you back in a minute. All right, guys, I started working on getting these cut up. And before we go any further, I'm going to give you a look. Those are the goose peppers. I'm getting them chopped down, and they'll boil down, then we'll hit them with the immersion blender here in a little bit. But I uh, wanted to show you here. I was counting the tops just to amuse myself. We got 24 bottles. We got 27 tops. So if you want to know the ghost pepper, to bottle ratio, there's going to be at least one ghost pepper in each bottle. Alright guys, I'm breaking down these last few peppers and uh, we'll show you. Over here we got quite a few already done. And in there, we'll get these last few broke down. And then we're going to measure up some vinegar. We still got some uh, onions here, or some uh, tomatoes here to cut. But we'll get these last few things broke down here. And... Uh, We'll get it over here and measure up some vinegar and get it cooking. But we'll bring you back when we get a little bit closer to that. But there's where we are so far. Alright guys, we're getting ready to start mixing this up. Tina's come out here, she's going to give me a hand. But uh, we're going to add the last couple of cups of vinegar. That'll bring us to, I believe, 18 cups of vinegar. We needed about 15. We're going to go a little over for evaporation and stuff. We're going to be boiling this for a while. But... We're going to need a couple of cups of uh, garlic powder, or I'm sorry, a couple of big tablespoons of garlic powder, a couple of big tablespoons of onion powder. And guys, you just do this however you want, but we're going to use a, there's about a teaspoon of black pepper. We're not big fans of black pepper in our hot sauce, but a little over a teaspoon, and then a, a full rounded tablespoon of smoked paprika, uh, just for flavor. So... Guys, we're going to go ahead, we're going to put this on some low heat. Oh, I'm sorry, we're going to put in about half a cup of salt. But, we're going to get this over some low heat. The idea is not to reduce it, we just want to boil it and boil the flavors out of the, out of the different peppers and stuff. So, we're just going to put it on a low heat. We're going to keep it there for about an hour, we may even cover it for a while. But, uh, we'll bring you back. It's going to try to run us out of the house. But, you're looking forward to that, ain't you? But uh, we're going to go ahead and get this heated up, and then uh, we'll show you. We're going to set up with some cheesecloth and stuff and show you how we strain it. But the first thing we got to do is get these peppers hot. We'll get them soft. We'll hit them with the immersion blender. That'll smooth it out some, and uh, we'll just kind of let you follow along. We'll bring you back as we get a little further along in the process. 
All right, guys. Let me get back in here and show you this. We've got it up to a nice little rolling uh, simmer boil. And uh, we've been over it a couple of times with the immersion blender there. That's kind of smoothed it out and got it broke up some. But uh, we're just going to let this slow boil. We want this uh, flavor really, really rich. We don't want it just real bright and then have it die off in a day. We want a really rich flavor and uh, we want it to go all the way through the sauce. So we're going to let this boil and boil. We're going to go over it a couple more times with the immersion blender. Then we'll bring you back and give you an idea what it looks like then. Alright guys, we're going to jump back in here. We have got this smoothed out and uh, been cooking on here for about an hour or so. We've been hitting it with the immersion blender. We've used both the chopping and the mixing. But, got a pretty smooth consistency there. Now what we got set up here, we got a stainless steel pot and a stainless steel strainer. We've got a double layer of uh, muslin or a cheesecloth. And we're going to go ahead and start ladling it in here and uh, getting the big chunks out. So we'll, uh, we're we're probably just going to work our way through this. And uh, once we get it strained, we'll bring you back and show you the final product before we put it in the bottles. Alrighty, guys. We had to move over to this taller pan here. But I uh, wanted to bring you back in and show you. We've got it all strained out now. Got it nice and smooth. Just looks like a kind of a thick red vinegar which is uh, exactly what we were hunting for. So we got it all squeezed out in the muslin, everything else in the sink, and uh, you guys want to be real careful, keep your hands washed, keep in mind of what you touch and what you don't, <laughs> but uh, the next step is going to be, we're going to take this sauce here, we've got these uh, little funnels here, and very carefully we are going to fill these little bottles, we'll put in the little dropper caps here, We'll screw a cap on them, and then we'll uh, put the shrink wrap caps on them. But uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, get partway through this. We'll start getting some of these filled up. We'll bring it back and uh, show you where we're at in the process. All right, guys. Tina's going to fill them here for a second. And uh, just wanted to show you that uh, filling these has been like a mad chemist nightmare. But we're getting it done. Let's show them the bottles over there, T. But uh, we are getting it done. It's just been really, really slow. We should have just enough to get these bottles filled. And then I'll bring you back and show you what the next step is. Alright guys, jump back in here real quick. Just wanted to show you the sauce. It's got a really good color. We're really happy with it. But the next step is to put the dropper caps on. And then put the screw on cap. So those are going to be our next steps. We'll go ahead and get those on and then we'll bring you back and uh, we'll show you how we do these uh, shrink wrap caps here. Alright guys, I'll just kind of show you this process. I hate to do things and not show you how we do it, but uh, it's just real, real easy. We just take a bottle, snap on one of these droppers, screw the lid on it. Not real complex. but. We'll get to moving the putting the shrink wrap caps on here in just a second. We'll bring you back for that. All right, guys. We're just going to come in here with the heat gun. We'll roll them around. I'll do a couple of them for you so you can see it. Get a good heave and shrink on it. We'll add it up. Show you another one here. I don't know how well your camera will pick it up. Pretty easy to shrink wrap them. Not a real big deal. One more time. Alright, we'll bring you guys back here in a minute. Alrighty guys, we got them all done. We got them all labeled. And for those of you playing along on the name the sauce thing, we went with Bee Sting Bee Sting Sauce. So, that's what we went with for this year, and uh, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for playing along on the naming thing. Those of you who had bee sting in your suggestions, I know Tina was among them, so she kind of may have influenced the outcome of the contest, but there were a lot of people said bee sting, and uh, that's what we went with. So guys, there's the hot sauce. We're glad to have 24 bottles of it. That'll last us a good long while, and... Uh, 
we will do it again next year. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and cut this off. I'll be back to talk to you in a minute. We hope you enjoyed the video. All right, guys, that's about going to wrap it up for the video. If you're wondering why we didn't do a taste test on camera, it's because we had to breathe that for about the last four hours. So, guys, nobody was really up for tasting it other than licking a spoon and knowing that it's good and hot. So, it is a uh, it is a uh, really really warm. We uh, we tell people like on the Facebook page we had an announcement the other day. We have a name for uh, people who say they like hot sauce and really want to try our hot sauce, and uh, we just call those people naive. So, guys, uh. We really enjoyed putting the video together. We hope you enjoyed it too. If uh, if you like things like this, please hit that thumbs up and uh, leave us a comment down below. Your comments and your thumbs up, those interactions tell YouTube to show our videos to more people. And guys, that's how we're able to reach as many people as we do. So we appreciate you helping us out that way. If you're not subscribed, we hope you'll subscribe. Down next to the subscribe button is a bell. If you'll ring that bell, that'll send you a notification whenever we release a new video. Guys, that's a great way to keep up with the channel. Then you know when, whenever we put out new videos. So, as we uh, we really appreciate you coming along. We hope you like the hot sauce. It's a it's a lot of fun to make. You guys, make sure you wear gloves and stuff when you make something like that. It is uh, it is ridiculously hot. So, um, just be careful out there and uh, enjoy your hot spicy food. I know we do. But guys. We're going to move along. we got some great videos coming up. we got a, I think we got a sweet potato harvest that's going to be coming up next. But uh, you guys hang around for that. But we really appreciate you guys coming by the channel today. We'll catch you in the next one.